Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React. So today we are going to learn about the import and the export. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here you can see that I have just browsed the file. You can see. <coughs> you can see all the records are rendered. Then I will try to export it. When I click on export, you can see that the data is exported over here. So how we are going to do that functionality? We have a plugin or NPM package that is XLS, sheet.js. Okay. So basically I am using this package to read the CSV file. So it's very, very high, uh, like, you know, download package. You can see that too much downloads of that one. That means it's a very good package that we have to use. So I'm using that one. So let's have a dive into the code level. So first of all, we have app.js file <clears throat> where we have an import component of the component which do the rest of the things, right? So this, this import component, this one, okay? Then we are using the xlsx which have the function read utils and the write file, okay? So this is the state initialization, users and the set users. Then when we have a handle import, so whenever we have a, uh, when we click on the import file, okay, so we are trying to read the files, right? So this is target files. If the length is, if there is a length, then we will picking up the file and the reading the file. On load, we are reading the sheet names, okay? The sh if the sheet sort length, then we are writing into the sheet dot JSON. Sheet to JSON, we have to write in and then set all the rows into that users, right? It is done. The, we, all the data is in the set users part. Then we are reading as a buffer file, the file name. Okay. After that, we, when we have an export, this is for the, this is for the import part, right? When we try to import, when we import, we are set all the data into the set users part. Okay. Then we have a handle export. So here we have a name, email, age. We are just making the headings. Then we have a new book then we have a utils json to sheet okay then we are add, adding the headings then we are using the a2s sheet okay then we have add, getting all the users you can see that all the users part then append the sheet with the report then write all the data into the report.xls file so basically it is a export we yeah. and the file is whether you want to make the expo uh, xls file or CSV file or whatever you can just put you can just write it over here right after this we have this one this is the file okay this is the HTML file right where we are trying to do accepting the CSV files or whatever file you can accept and then we are click on the handle export export button then it will trigger this handle export this function will trigger when we try to export that part right and then when we have just uh, click on the import part, then we have uh, this uh, function that is handle import. So you can see that whenever we reload the file, so all the data, whatever we have, we are going to just render it in the tabular form. You can see that handle export or handle import. Okay. And after choosing the file and, and uh, the data we are getting in that users dot length. Okay, so all the data is set into the users. Okay, you can see that this state, we have the data. By default, the state has the empty. So you can see that users. So we are just save all the data in the users part. So we are just mapping it and showing into the front of it. Okay, nothing more on that. Okay, you can see that. So this is how we are able to import and export the CSV in the react part okay so the main part is whenever we have a import functionality okay so what we are doing just we are just doing that that part and if you want to save that data into the database then you can hit the api over here whenever you try to import hit the api put all the data into that part and save that and uh, render over here or whether you want to render from the api or uh, you can do the vice versa of it right so any doubt, any query in that, just let me know in the comment section. This is very simple and very easy lines of code. Okay. And you will also get some of the code snippets from the XLS part because I have, I have think that it is there, right? So you can see that. Okay. 
how to import that require this is basically the node shares part right so you can you can use that you can see there access utils book append sheet so whether you want to append the book uh, you can see that i have also used this part right book append so this is you can see that wb this is our you can you utils json to, to sheet and this is new book that we have created same thing workbook sheet a sheet two or true okay so this is the thing workbook that is a sheet okay this is workbook that is a sheet and here we have whatever whatever the name of the sheet that we are passing over here right so this will append that part okay so all the functions all the functionality of whatever it is it is you will get it from here right to create a new, new book to uh, append a worksheet to a workbook okay so all the things of the whatever i have written over here like uh, this part sheet to add ao and add json all this stuff you will get it from this documentation okay so any doubt any query in that let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day